Pay Hi, this is Bobby Brown, and welcome to another fucking podcast. You kids with your loud music and your Dan Fogelberg, your Zima, hula hoops, and Pac-Man video games, don't you see people today have attention spans that can only be measured in nanoseconds? These are all legends never die. They just lose weight. Like a legend and an animal from a lot of legends. Yes, Courtney, it is party time. Oh, wow. Hello, Hollywood. Hello, North Hollywood. Hello, world. Hello, my loyal minions. It is good to see you, and it's always good to be seeing Izzy Presley and another fucking podcast. Hello, the other door. Ladies and gentlemen, say hi, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for coming down. Going to have another great show. We are here the first Sunday of every month. Um, usually live on Monday nights via Spreaker. So if you are listening via Spreaker when I post this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the same thing on iTunes when the show is posted afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to my co-host for the evening. You know him from KNAC, the Rainbow Bar and Grill. And he was part of that metal show when it was out here. DJ Will. Hey, hey, hey. Coming in the same place I was when we were filming the show. Right? <laughs> and, uh, the other two thirds and a half of that metal show, Don Jameson. Hey, hey, Jim Florentine. I just want to know if Will would have wore that Panther jersey if they would have lost today against the Patriots. The answer is no. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I figure all I need is a Karnak hat and a bag of White Castles, and I could be Eddie. Well, we yeah, I mean we're affordable, so but you know Mr. trunks a little high Mr. price. Mr. Trunks, he's a little yeah, he's a little out of our price range, but but Will it was like Bizarro Day today. You guys beat the Patriots, yeah. Giants lost their fourth game in a row, and the Jets won. So yeah, it was like a one two three punch. Yeah, and Miami got shot out in London. Yeah, and you woke up at six thirty in the morning. Six thirty in the morning, yeah. And my Vikings awesome. lost. We got some uh, tweaking going on here. Where's uh, where's our sound gal? Oh, uh, you you hear it? Which mic? I think it's all of them. Eh, who well, who cares? We'll just keep going. What are you guys doing in town? Uh, you guys are East Coast guys. All of a sudden, boom, you're fucking in Los Angeles. We came for your podcast. That's hot. I didn't even have to pay for the fucking uh, the airplane tickets or the rooms. I like that. That's right. I, I wish more people would do that. No, you guys are out here for the uh, Metal Blade thing? You're just going to uh, give us Uber money for the strip club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. I, I'm selling uh, I'm selling some of Will's gear to do that, actually. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are here for the Metal Blade thing? Yeah, and we had some shows out here and stuff, and Don's uh, doing a video or something on, right? Some shit? Yeah. Gay porn? <laughs> you porn? Ah, uh, you porn. Yes, yeah, yes. Is there yeah. uh, cocks involved that aren't yours? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pat Fontaine. Who, who's Pat Fontaine? From XYZ. Oh, okay. That's his laugh. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's the magic of DJ Will back there. That is. Yeah, that baby. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. No, yeah, yeah, yeah we're so hanging out. We're hanging out. Me and Jim are comedians, but we do our records on a heavy metal label, which mm -hmm. is awesome, called Metal Blade Records. And we're having an event tomorrow, Book, Book Soup. Book Soup? Yeah. Where's that at? It's in I don't know. California. It's oh, right, obviously. It's right by the Starbucks. Oh, but the, okay. <laughs> yeah. Where, right. There's a, which one on which side of the street? Isn't there like a... There's like four of there's them. There's a there. sidewalk. There yeah, I think there's a Chipotle <laughs> across the street from Probably there. about three subways yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. There's so like it's a, right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's there some you. traffic around there. No, so so uh, what's going on with this event? Uh, is well, it, Brian Slagle mm -hmm. wrote a book about the history of Metal Blade Records, but it's kind of also a history of heavy metal in a lot of ways because he, you know, he had such an imprint on heavy metal and bringing mm -hmm. bands to America, and you know, it's a story of a, a guy who, you know, a young guy he meets a kid named Lars Ulrich, and uh, they become best friends, and Lars becomes the drummer of Metallica, and and Brian creates a record label that's been around for 35 years and uh, you know wrote a book about it and uh, honored that we're both mentioned in it and so we've been doing these book events I did one in um, we did one in New York and we're out here to do this one and 
you know, nice. and then probably go to the Rainbow and be entertained by the DJ stylings of uh, DJ Will back there. He's oh, going to be yeah. playing Tiffany and then, just for uh, you. And then, you know, hit a happy ending place and go to the hotel. I don't know. Do, do you know any of those? Because I think I need one of those. It's been a while. How long? Uh, about six months. That's not bad. Eh. That's not bad. <laughs> I've, I've, I've went that's not a, bad if you've been in prison for the last six months. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I have threesomes every night, but it's myself, you porn, and a bottle of Astro Glide. Wow. Do you really need lube by yourself? Yeah, because it, it gets you trained just in case you actually get to feel a vagina eventually. See, I like to go right yeah. in dry. You like it dry? Yeah. 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 Rub in the belly? I just go push it right in. Oh, there you go. Sometimes yeah. it works. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I so guess I'm, the guy from XYZ likes to go in raw. Yeah, he does. It's Pat Fontaine. He likes a lot of things raw. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Very well. But yeah, so we're out here. We're hanging. Jim did some shows this weekend, and I was in Cleveland. Well, we just saw Accept last night. Yeah, we saw Accept. Fucking sick. How was that? Great. Yeah? Yeah. They do like like 38 songs in a set. It was a long show. Yeah. Yeah, it was over two hours. Yeah, they were really good, though. You know, always. That's our old buddy, Mark Tornillo. Yeah, absolutely. From back, back, uh, back east. Jer- he's uh, a Jersey boy. Jersey boy. In a band called TT Quick. That nobody here has any idea who TT Quick is. Does anybody here know who TT Quick is? Three people just left when you asked that. They obviously don't listen to Trunk because Trunk doesn't stop talking about them. T- well, TT Quick in Jersey, like if you grew up right. by us, you know, like they were like a legendary Jersey band. So, you know, there was a there was a club called the Birch Hill, and Jim and I, before we even knew each other, used to go hang out down there. And the Birch Hill was just like you would go down there, you know, you you go see TT Quick, and you pick up chicks in the Birch Hill, and you take them out to the car, and now nine more people left. We just yeah. lost four. The hot chicks got bored. No, we'll talk about Metallica. Hold on. These guys were on TV, you know. All right, they're getting some cocktails. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. How long have you guys known each other? Uh, probably like 20 years. Yeah. Right? Did you meet in the comedy circuits? or a happy ending place. Oh, okay. well, no. that doesn't shock me. You know what I mean? It was a two for one that night. I'm like, I don't know this guy, but <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah, That's the it. woman just stood between <laughs> us and pretended she was skiing. <laughs> <laughs> See, they missed the skiing joke. I missed the skiing joke. The joke. You know what I'm talking about. No. You never you never sat on one side and your buddy sat on the other side and a woman sat in the middle. Oh, the skiing. Yeah. yeah. Skiing. It was the fucking Jersey accent that Stay threw me Stay focused. Off. Skiing. Busy. Skiing. Skiing. How did you guys meet? It's what, been a long honestly? six months. Yeah, it has been a long six months. <laughs> no, we met doing stand-up, you know. and um, Well, he we, was doing stand-up before me, yeah. Right, and then we started doing gigs, and that's how we met Eddie, because we listened to Eddie's radio show on the mm-hmm. way home from our shows, and he's playing, like, Raven. We're like, who the fuck is playing Raven Yeah, right. in New York City? <laughs> and we were like, man, we got to meet this guy. We never, we didn't, we, you know, we knew he was a DJ, and then we met him, like, a month later at a, a show. He's like, yeah, come on my radio show. You know, we'll uh, talk metal. I like comics coming on because he had Jim Brewer was always coming on yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So, and we just started, and that's how we built a friendship. And then he's like, I'm going to pitch a show of us three, a talk show. I'm like, all right, cool. He's like, a connection there, and that's how it happened, pretty much. Yeah, because I mean, you, you know, we did it like we've done a million pilots for TV shows, right? And they've all been dismal failures, except for the one that he was on. Well, no, yeah, Crank Egg, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course, was was amazing. Yeah, but there's a lot of shows that we do, and they don't they never right, get picked right, right. up. And we never thought, uh, we had our guest lead of four, we're like, all right, no one's, we'll see what happens. Yeah, but. the first episode was so bad. Not, it wasn't Lita's fault, she was amazing. Mm-hmm. It was so cool to have her as the first guest, but the show was so bad. And I remember seeing it, and I was just, I was almost in tears. I called him, and I'm like, dude, it's another pilot down the drain. Right. I go, did you watch it? It's really bad. He goes, yeah, was, he goes, but... That's probably why it'll get picked up, because there's so much bad stuff on right. TV, and it got picked up. And then you know, then we found our groove together, and yeah. then you know, it actually turned into something, which was fourteen cool, but... seasons later, and it was about five years of fourteen seasons, uh, eight years. seven, seven, seven or eight years, seven, yeah. Eight years, yeah. yeah. You know, the thing that always boggled my mind about that now show we're doing is, podcasts. And now you're doing podcasts with me. <laughs> well, it's getting filmed. Yeah, it is. This it, will probably look better than that metal show. Yeah. Well, that's probably <laughs> HD. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Scotty's iPhone <laughs> yeah, is in HD. Right. This yeah. is in so. HD. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that always boggled my mind is you guys were on a music station, but they wouldn't pay for the music rights no. for the bands that were on there. 
No, the, the, it was it was strange where they spent their money. We had plenty of gummy bears and and cookies in the dressing room. Yeah, yeah. You know. But they wouldn't spend it on the music. Yeah, three middle aged guys really need gummy bears and cookies, but don't pay for music. That's yeah, right. starburst. Yeah. How much of those did Trunk actually eat? compared to what you guys had. This is obviously before he lost his weight. No, we all like would take like the clip bars. That was oh, a big okay. thing. Yeah. And then we'd stuff them in our bag and bring them home. You gotta eat. Oh yeah, we we took everything. Yeah. <laughs> we'd have everything, yeah. <laughs> if I could have took those um, those giant paintings off the wall of Lemmy and Ronnie Dio and whatever that other one was. Uh, it was Chris Robinson from the Black Crows. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was I think it was supposed to be John Bonham. <laughs> What, what did happen to all that stuff? Is that just kind of gone? You have no fucking idea? It was only two pictures, though. Oh, but still. Because the, the set got changed all the time, so right. there's no real set either. Right. So I don't know. Yeah, I, th- I heard it's in storage somewhere. It's in storage. Oh, it is? Since uh, the last couple of seasons of that metal show were filmed in New York, uh, it all remains in the New York uh, uh, studio lot or oh, all right. storage. Yeah. Well, that's good that they're holding on to it so they can put it in the Smithsonian someday. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's the set from that digital cable show where those three idiots from New Jersey hosted. Let's hey, put that right next to the All of Fa- on the Family set. Hey, at least it wasn't public access. They look like it. <laughs> but, you know, but you didn't need to see the three of us in HD, so. No. Yeah, that was the thing. No. It didn't matter. It was, you right, know. right, right. Yeah, if you're talking about Iron Maiden for a half hour, do you really need to see somebody in HD that clearly? Well, when people would meet us, like, man, what? you lost so much weight because we were all stretched out because of the picture. And I just <laughs> yeah. go, yeah, I got AIDS. <laughs> that was my line every time. Don was TV 14, Don. Remember that? Oh, right, because that was on your, what was it, on his head? Yeah, every, it would go, welcome to that metal show, and then there would be the TV 14 logo, and it would be right on his head every Right. That was my Halloween costume one year. And people go, oh, that's the guy from that metal show. It wasn't the sideburns that gave it away. It was the fucking TV 14 thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, I, I, I complained about it. It only took two years of complaining about that before that got fixed. But, uh, hey, look, we, we had a great run, man. And if, if it's done, it's done. But, uh, you know, I, I have, we have no complaints, man. We got to meet every one of our idols. Right. And, and uh, you know, now we do the Monsters of Rock cruise. Yeah, and, and you guys got to interview Janie right before he died. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, like that was great. Before. And it, it, I did a, like a year later, I did a benefit out in Akron, and, you know, where he's from in Ohio. And his, some of his family members came down, and they were just, they, were, they were said, thank you so much for letting Janie take a walk down memory lane one last yeah. time. And uh, so that, that really meant a lot, you know. It's like, because we treated him with, obviously we treated him with respect. Right. And, and that was a good show. It was, that was Michael Sweet and mm-hmm. Janie, and I think Tammy was on that. So you got to, you know, you got to have a little curveball. Right, there too, right. So. Yeah, it's funny, because the last time that you were on this show, that's when all the striper, faster pussycat stuff went down, and uh, now they're all good friends because of it. Which I don't is, even know what that went down. I don't remember. Oh, that Chad and it was mostly Danny Tender from Pussycat started ripping on Striper, and then Chad chimed in, and then uh, then it ended up on Metal Sludge, and it was uh, Michael Sweet was yeah, a little Dan- uh, Danny was like, remember it. when Marilyn Manson did our show, and he was all hammered on absinthe and yeah. drinking AIDS and rape jokes. Yeah, that's what it was like, but it was all about Striper. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then I was caught in, you know, I was the, I got caught in all the shrapnel, you know. And then Michael Sweet posted something about it, and I was like, oh, now I got to send him an email. And, like, uh, so it was a whole big Well, thing. you but, didn't even say anything. You no, were just I know, but but I was there. guilty by association. Right, right, right. It's like, you know, that, like, Gene and Paul, you know, Gene and Paul wouldn't do that metal show because of Eddie. Mm-hmm. But so then, you know, Jim and I are guilty by association. Of course. Know? Of course. Because for whatever reason, they have a thing with him. But Yeah, but now Striper and Faster Pussycat are friends, which is awesome. Um, so Monsters of Rock Cruise, you guys were both on last year. Yeah. We'll be on uh, that again coming this back. Year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was your first run. How would you, uh, how'd you I feel? I still got how'd drink tickets, so. <laughs> I know. Hopefully I can use the ones this year. No, it was good. I had a good time. I think we're going to do stand-up this year. I wanted to do some nice. some comedy shows. You know, they have those nice mm-hmm. theaters and stuff. So I think me and Don are going to be doing some shows. Well, Don's first year, he... Uh, I got a few con left over also a few what are those <laughs> <laughs> i like drawing the pictures on her stomach yeah yeah it's a lot more fun um so th- your first year you is did it a big picture or a small one it's been a while it's so it's um, gonna be huge it's, it's gonna be huge yeah. her hair's yeah. gonna be slicked back it's right. 
Yeah, I might. You don't wear a bag. If I, if I blow in her, she, her head might blow off. So you don't wear a bag? No. 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 Look at no. him. How come? Because <laughs> I'm just that good. What, that, oh, you mean pulling <laughs> the, out? The pulling out, yes, yes. But you know, no, Don't tell is no, why can't, you can't. do Look, look, it's been so long, it's going to be like a wax dart shooting out of my cock. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Bill Hicks. She might have to way. take a raft home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then we have to get the lifeboats <laughs> ready. <laughs> Don, tell Izzy why you wear a bag every time. Because he says he doesn't he has good timing and, you know. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? Uh, why are you looking at me? Look, he's the one. I don't know. Why, who would? Uh, I don't understand anybody who doesn't use a condom. It's yeah, the no greatest fuck. thing ever. Oh, no. 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 Does no it fun. make it last longer, though? No, of course. That's what they yeah. say. That's what they say. I don't think so. Well, how do you you know? haven't gotten in six months, have yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You Love it. You could be a virgin again. Yeah, I'm getting pretty damn close. No. Pretty damn close. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> you opened up for Chips and Up's wedding on, the, oh, that's your, right. on your first yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, and you forced me to go out and do my stand-up. Yeah, well, you, you, know, you, you, have these, you harbor these secret thoughts about... Doing yeah, stuff, I though. love it. I, I, I've done it a few times. That was my second time. Not bad. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. And the, the other time I got to do um, stand-up on the pool stage, it was in the middle of the day, and we were docked in Nassau, Bahamas, and, you know, you know, the pool stage, that's the main stage, right? Yep. So, like, that day, like, everyone came out, like, 2,500 heavy metal heads, and I'm out there, and I'm cursing, and I'm going crazy, and I'm saying twat and pussy and all this stuff. And then I realized about 10 minutes in, we're parked, we're docked 10 feet from the Disney Princess. Awesome. <laughs> and they have thousands of people on their pool deck, too. <laughs> and they can hear every word that I'm saying. <laughs> so Larry's never had me back on the pool stage <laughs> since then. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, but just imagine how many asses they've seen from our crew mooning their crew. Oh, you guys. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah see, our, it wasn't... our crowd is, I mean... <laughs> this is our crowd, and I, I, I can see you doing it. Boobs up against the window. That's not me. Twat sticking to the window. Wow. That's not me. Is it? He's done it more than once. <laughs> I've yeah. done it more than once. <laughs> yeah, that's retired. Nobody wants to see that anymore. But we love to mix up the comedy with the rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. I think it works well because everybody's drunk. Yeah, and, and and look, there's so much humor in metal. I right, mean, it's not you know. Well, you've got Chad Stewart. That's humor right there. Look, you know, people. Why do people? Why is Faster Pussycat the most famous act on the boat every year? Because they, because the, not only are they amazing and they have great right. songs, but it's a whole. It's it's a show. It's like a, it's like a Broadway theater show. It it's really a, is, it, and a comedy show and a rock show all at once. Plus, they're the ones that are out there talking to everybody. You yeah. can't go to the pool deck without finding at least one member of Faster Pussy Get. Yeah, I went down on an inflatable doll during their set last <laughs> year. You know, everyone comes up me. and sings during their set. Yeah. It's just, it's a party. Uh, Lori Nickel from Australia wants to know, who was the most arrogant person to interview on that metal show? Nobody. Everybody was cool. Yeah, people always want to know that one. That's always a question, like, who was a dick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because it's no fun to say everybody was nice. Nobody wants to hear well, that. Well, Eddie, Eddie's known most of these guys for a long time, yeah. so they feel comfortable yeah. coming on, and you know. But no, I don't. I don't remember anybody. There nobody was, no was arrogant. The only, the only one time we always talk about is when Manson came on, and he was hammered on absinthe, mm -hmm. and, uh, which he walked in at noon with a bottle of absinthe half empty. He was, you know, he was shit faced. But that's him, you know. Like you don't want a shiny, happy Manson. Right. And it was a funny moment where uh, he he asked one of the PAs. He said, "Come." He goes, "Hey, can you get me a a glass for my for my absinthe?" And she brings back a styrofoam cup and he pours it in there, and the whole cup just disintegrates. <laughs> like that's what the guy that's has awesome. been drinking since nine in the morning. Holy it disintegrated shit. a cup. Oh man, his stomach must look like my liver. Yeah. Hey, since we're talking about stuff, Beater Amplification. Check those guys out. I am proud to be their very first artist. And my head, which is getting built right now, is called the TCB1. 100 watts, 
of pure rock and roll mayhem. Hand wired, pull two tubes, you got a fitty. Check those guys out. Two E's, B E E T E R, amplification. Find them on Facebook. So you're sponsored by them. I have. Uh, if that doesn't get you laid, I don't know what will. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe not, if you start wearing condoms, you get sponsored by Magnum. Yeah. <laughs> not that that would. Do they make you. tiny ones? <laughs> no. Probably no, not. No. Very well. Magnum minis. Well, tell him what the the, the trick about the uh, Magnums are, because you know you and I figured that this out. What is the trick? The trick is that they're the same size as all the other condoms. It's just guys buy them because they think they're so huge, oh. but they actually will fit pretty much anybody. That's so we buy them just so, like, if you have it around the house, the girl right. might go, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. I leave on the kitchen counter when I bring her back. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, but what <laughs> happens when you your should. mom comes over? Yeah, well, oh my God. She, she's already seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, she knows you're using a bag, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, you still doing your podcast? Yeah. I haven't listened in a while. So Why not? I don't know. I don't know. I just forgot about it. No, yeah, no, I've been doing it since like 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, yeah. First, one right. did, my can... first one I ever did was at Scotty's house with Rudy really? Sarzo back in 2011. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I just do it once a week and, mm -hmm. you know, just riff on different shit. Why don't you guys do one together? One you can't people. afford me. Yeah, that makes sense. Can you pay us? No. And we'll do it? I can't even pay myself. Yeah. That's why. I, and we look, we love the, the fans of that metal show who always come up to us and they say, how come you don't bring it back? And it's like, well, mm -hmm. first of all, we, we don't have anything to do with it. You know, we were right. just. Like uh, if you get fired from a big company, you can't, your friends can't go, you were so good there. Yeah. Just, just show up. Yeah, just. You know, come on. They, I mean, you know, couldn't somebody else in the company hire you? Or? Just come back on Monday. Go back yeah. Monday morning. Right. Go, look, man, everyone tells me I should be here. That I did a good job here, so I'm just going to go back to my old desk. Well, I was just it's like, look. You, like in the Seinfeld, when Costanza, he, he keeps going to the job, even after he got fired. It's like, just keep showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't do that. We can't show up at the studio and go, we're here to tape. Right. I'm just saying, you guys have a good chemistry together. You know each other a long time. That You you would do a good pod podcast together. That's what I was getting at, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Well, we do. Well, we do a lot of stuff together. We have, I know. We have six volumes of terrorizing telemarketers, yeah. prank ah. calls. Yeah. If you hate telemarketers, and who doesn't? We uh, torture them, and we have six volumes of CDs, and we do these uh, hidden camera DVDs called Meet the Creeps, uh, which is you know hidden camera comedy but with a dark twist. Right. You know, most of these hidden camera shows, they play the prank, and then at the end, everyone comes out and goes, ha ha, we got you, and everybody has a laugh. All of ours fade to black. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what happened. Yeah. You know, you know, there's no outcome to it. It's just right. dark. And we love that. And, you know, I like to say, you know, we revolutionized something that, uh, you know, that Jim actually, you know, well, practically nominated for an Emmy for. The Upper Decker. The almost. Upper Decker. The Upper Decker. Yeah. Because years ago when we were doing our DVDs, it was like, you know, we would, when we go on the road as comics, you know, you would try to get in the other comics ro rooms and do an Upper Decker in their toilet. Uh, do you yes. know what Upper Decker is, Izzy? Now I do, yes. You know, you take the, the tank, you yep. take the top and off. And you shit in the tank. And you yeah. go in the top instead. So we put that on a DVD because, you know, nobody was looking for us for movie roles, so... We started doing that, and then years later, and then everyone goes, you'll never, and his manager goes, you guys will never work in this business again. And yeah, then, yeah, sure he's enough. he's like, you know, you'll never be in a romantic comedy if you do that. I go, why would I want to be? <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a five, maybe a six with a tan. I'm not going to be in a romantic comedy. <laughs> it's not going to happen anyway. But then, then Louis C.K. was a fan of the DVDs, and he knew about the Upper Decker, and then he wrote into one of his uh, TV shows where I took an Upper Decker. But then they took it to another level. Not only did he take an upper decker, he falls off and dies. I hit my head on the tank as I'm, because he's puking in the toilet. I'm right. shitting in the top of the ah, toilet. Ah, that's hot. Yeah, There's a baby. visual for you. <laughs> <laughs> How are we looking on time there, Willem? Five minutes. Five minutes. All right, we'll take a break in five minutes. Um, Let's how talk about those beater speakers. Those the beater those beater heads. Yeah. Oh, they're fucking amazing. All right, they're absolutely hand wired. Fucking balls out rock and roll tone. That's all I need. That's to all know. you need to know. But yeah, so we do a lot of projects together. You know, we you know, 
it's cool because we don't neither of us are, have a filter for the other one like, right there's like we don't come up with an, like no, one guy comes up with an idea the other guy doesn't go eh, maybe we should tone it down a little bit it's always like oh here's a great idea and then the other guy goes here's how we could take it to the next level here's how we can make it darker even so like we find t t tension in comedy is fun funny to us oh yeah you know any awkward situation is funny yeah like if you watch Kirby Enthusiasm, it's just all awkward. I love that shit. Right, yeah. just like Dice's new show too. Yeah, which is fucking brilliant. If yeah. you guys haven't watched Dice's show, watch it. It's on Showtime. It's fucking amazing. So Broad City. Broad City. Yeah, really excellent. What's that? It's like two comedy chicks, and they're they're like the. Uh, okay, you lost me at comedy chicks. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're, they're lesbians, but they're hot for men and everything like that. And you hear. They're lesbians hot for men. Are they hot lesbians See, hot for men? Well, one of them's kind of hot and the other one could be. And the other one's like, hi, my name is Alice. <laughs> Do you see boobies? All right. Does one of them have a buzz cut? Because I, I, I came to this conclusion that there's two people in this world that I don't trust. Guys who use their full name when they could shorten it from like uh, Donald to Don or chicks with buzz cuts. Those are the two people in this world I don't trust. Those are the only two people. Yeah, only two people. And you don't trust condoms either. No, I do not. Very shameful. Very shameful. Because they could break just like my soul. <laughs> they don't break. You're not, fu break. You're not fucking Peter North, I dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're Izzy Presley from Minneapolis. Relax. Like I told the you, it's going like, to it's it's be like enough. a wax dart. <laughs> so you don't trust Michael Sweet. Right. No, I don't trust Michael Sweet. Because it could be oh, Mike Sweet. Here we Sweet. go again. No, no, here we Michael go. Michael Sweet, oh, right, this is Don Jameson speaking. I have nothing or to Robert do Or Robert Sweet. You don't trust his brother either. No. Okay. No. Just Absolutely Do you trust not. anybody in that band? No. Christian, I don't trust you because it could just, but, eh, you're not. You're he, from he what? He looks trustworthy. Eh, I don't know. Do you use a bag? <laughs> Never. Had a kid. What's Run going on with this? Run I don't understand this. These young guys, man. No respect. Young. Yeah. Young. <laughs> no, because like, no, it's like now, you know, guys like my age, it's like, you, like, you, like people go, oh, uh, you know, I don't even know what a condom feels like. I'm like, I don't even know what a vagina feels like. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're getting it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I tell you what. Uh, yeah, but that's the difference between five and eight and a half minutes. Five? Yeah. What are you, a marathon runner? Well, well that's including the ride over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly. There you go. Uh, we're going to take a short little break. Two and two. Be right back. It's another fucking podcast. Don Jameson, Jim Florentine. Woohoo! Yeah. I bet Will uses a condom. Yeah, baby. Do they make them big enough? <laughs> well, I don't Will, know. Will, do, do, do they make them big packing. enough? You packing over there? Well, not currently, but uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do. Yeah, not in a room with six guys. <laughs> <laughs> and Jen, wait. There, actually, there's a there's a gal hiding in the back in the in the corner there with the with the guy. I, I just noticed. Now, nah, hi. How you doing? Welcome. The, welcome to the show. I didn't see you guys snuck in. I didn't see you back there. Sorry for the inappropriate talk. I don't know why these guys keep bringing that stuff up. That's what I like to see in a club. <laughs> yeah, dice. The Scotty, in place. Scotty, can you grab a uh, Jim a water, possibly? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Florentine requests the water. Yes. I try not to Bill Cosby me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love it. Um, so you guys obviously tour all over the fucking country. Do um, you guys like the big city stuff or the, you like the smaller town stuff? Uh, what, what do you uh, like? Me either or. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, most of the crowds are pretty much the same mm -hmm. there used to be a big difference now with cable and everybody's watching you know and the internet shit. yeah yeah so yeah you, know, you always have to worry going to play kansas like they're not gonna get any jokes but they get right. them just as much as new york city gets them now so or the, the one that bill hicks always said was that the the comedy pouch in possum ridge arkansas you know, yeah, right. Like that. Back then, because you didn't have the internet, now right. people can go on the internet and look you up and go, oh, yeah, I can see a clip of Don or Jim or whoever, mm -hmm. and oh, yeah, I like this humor, I don't like this humor, and then they can come or not come to the club. But yeah, back in the old days, man, you would show up somewhere, and then people would be all offended, and it'd be like, well, why'd you come to a comedy club anyway? Right. Like, does anybody go to a movie that they don't know what the movie is? 
You know what I mean? Would you go see a movie that you just, oh, I'll just go into this theater then. All right. There's I would. <laughs> I would. That'd be kind of cool. Go see a movie that you know nothing about. Just to so be you would watch like it was a romantic comedy with with you. No, with like you know Matthew uh, McConaughey. Yeah, and Kate Hudson. Uh, you would go see. I, that. I'd give it a shot if I didn't know what I was getting into. So wait, if they, if they just had a movie theater, you know, like the the Cineplexes with like twelve movies, mm-hmm. and but there was no titles to any of the movies, you would buy a ticket and just randomly walk. Why in. not? You're fucked up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that drunk yet. Who would waste that kind of time? So when people come to a comedy show, wouldn't you want to know what you're going to see? Because back in the day, people would think, oh, we're going, you know, maybe they're like Seinfeld. They're, you know, right. they're going to tell, or Dave Coulier, they're going to tell family jokes. And then Jim and I are up there doing dark shit. And they're like, oh, we don't like this. But now we don't have to worry about that because you can build your own audience mm-hmm. and they know to come to see you or not. Like that club we saw, uh, we were at last night. We're not just going to walk in and go, I don't know what kind of band's playing, but, you know, we'll just go. Yeah, I don't know. It could be a metal band. It could be a polka band. It could be glockenspiel. I don't know. You wouldn't do that. Right. You would look it up on the internet. You go, okay, let me see this. This is Have you- Izzy Presley and the non-condom wearers. Let me see if I... <laughs> That's my new yeah. band, by there's the a, way. We're a- playing at the Palladium next week. Yeah, um, yeah, let me yeah. see if I like them, and I look you up on the internet. Well, how long is the show going to be? About 35 seconds. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> Which on- is three- no encore? No. <laughs> yeah, two hours encore. later, there's an encore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> By the way, 30, <laughs> there it is. 35 seconds is three Ramon songs. Hmm. <laughs> right. Um, have you guys noticed um, the, the reaction from the crowd, people getting offended now as compared to maybe a few years ago because everybody's all so fucking PC now? And whining? No, I don't think so. I, um, it's always been around some people, but I, you know, it seems like that's what's going on. But I haven't seen any of it. Mm-hmm. I think the crowd likes it. They're so sick of it getting jammed down their throat everywhere to go. Yeah, I think now they people... like to go out to a comedy club and just, you know, yeah, that's what I want to laugh at. Yeah, we're adults. We're in a nightclub. We're right. drinking alcohol. We want to hear dirty jokes, you know. So, but yeah, I mean, yeah. In general, are people? A little, you definitely have to be a little more creative, maybe in the in the right. choice of your words and stuff. But yeah, I mean, that's the other thing. It's like again, comics can make their own audiences, and then they when they come to the show, they know what they're getting. So you know, people people who like family humor i'm gonna go see doug stanhope they know that he's gonna be awful you know or jim norton talking about trannies right so they they already know that going in so most of the time you're, you're pretty much getting your crowd which is good and we you know it's, we're lucky you know we have a comedy audience and we have a metal audience so you have right. people out on dates you have you know a bunch of rowdy guys and then you know you'll have you know a table of people in iron maiden t-shirts you know so it's cool we unite people. which are also probably all guys Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But we unite people, you know? Uh, we got a we lock arms. <laughs> we got a question. Yeah, how come we didn't lock arms before the podcast? We, well, to show yeah. unity. We, well, if we have anybody well, that's is uncircumcised, he, he we could lock I don't know cocks. That <laughs> um, uh, question for Jim from the Facebook page. Oh, Izzy was oh. kneeling in the back because yeah. he's drunk. <laughs> Not he's yet. Got sick. I haven't had enough Jack Daniels yet. Hint, hint. Um, question for Jim from the Facebook page. How do you... Uh, Izzy had a kneel to get me in down on the show. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do. You know? Uh, because when you I want to get superstar all... superstar power. Ex- and get all of you fine people in this small room. Yeah. Uh, you, you need to record a record here. I think you do. The what? Record a record. The record. The record. Oh. Put Daniel on the phone. Yeah, put Daniel on the phone. Um, uh, Jim, we got a question for you from uh, from the Facebook page. Uh, how do you balance life on the road and being a dad? Uh, you know, I I got my son early in the week, and then I go to work on the weekends. Okay. You know, so it, it works. I got a good schedule. So when I'm home, I'm home with him, and then, you know. But dad, also, his dad goes to work. His cat, his kid likes, you know, his kid likes metal. So he'll, he can take him to concerts. You know, he could take him to comedy shows. They came to my comedy show the other night in Jersey. So it's, it, they're like buddies. Like if anything, unfortunately, happened to Jim, I already have a six year old version of him that it could be my best <laughs> friend tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, he the guy, he you know, he doesn't hide anything from his kid. You know, he teaches his kid right and wrong, but the key, you know, he's heard cursing. You know, he he's already he's already got a good 
taste of comedy. He's got great taste in music. He loves metal. So, so. he already knows the different versions between yeah. uh, the difference between the different versions of Black Sabbath. Oh yeah, he knows that Brad Wall played on the Thirteen record. He used to be in Ray's yeah. Garden. He loves I mean, it. or Audio Slave. He, he knows loves all of knowing all the members of bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bill used to play in it, but he didn't yeah. play. And but Brad didn't do the tour. He knows all of that shit. Yeah, it's amazing. And he loves to fart. So I mean, he, he's it's so he's just like Dad. Yeah, I, yeah. We're yeah. raising a little Jim. Yeah. Uh, we had a question for you too, which is going to lead into you. Um, somebody wants to know if you're going to write another follow up book. For the book that you already have. Oh, my joke book. Yeah, your joke book. Yeah, you might be a metalhead if. Yeah. Which uh, I gave you a copy. Yes, you DJ did. DJ Will has a copy back there. It's 88 pages of masterful comedy stylings. About, it's like, you know, it's like the Jeff Foxworthy thing. If you right. might be a redneck if. Gotcha. And so gotcha. it's jokes about metalhead, and there's illustrations in it. So it's a joke book. It's, it's a. J.K. Rowling called it a too dumb classic. Is the print as big as it is in the Stacy Blades book? I haven't read the Stacy Blades. It's huge. Book. Is it? it? It's literally right. like that big. It's yeah. hilarious. Oh my god! Oh my my god, King! Oh. My god! It's a shot of Jack Daniels! Oh boy! Here comes the kneeling. Cheers, motherfuckers! Okay. Have you uh, contemplated doing a book at all? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> How about now? Yeah, I got a book coming out on February 20th, 2018. Oh, nice. It's nice. Called, is, does it have pictures in it? No, no pictures. Everybody is awful except for you. I like it. It's just based on my podcast. Just oh, okay. know, making okay. fun of social media. Right, right. And you know, yeah, that I think that's one of the, that, that may be one of the reasons I haven't listened in a while because I'm afraid that uh, something that I may have said might have ended up on your podcast. <laughs> What do you, what kind of stuff do you post? It's usually funny shit, but sometimes I get hammered and it gets a little depressing. Well, it's all right though. But uh, do you post like pictures of your food? Yeah. Yeah, see, that would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do. I do. I do. I'm that guy. Now, why though? Did you make it or you were? Uh, sometimes I made it. Big... Sometimes I make and it. And so you take a picture, and what are you expecting back when you? If you nothing, made... I'm just look at what I get to eat. I'm that asshole. You think anyone's jealous? No. Sometimes. What is, Do you what think is, that's fair to the people in Puerto Rico? Yeah. And Houston? Yeah, it is. It is. Southern it Florida? Is. It is because... Who just ate their shoe a half hour ago? <laughs> right, because uh, I probably, uh, if I didn't have that $5, I probably would be eating my own shoe. Uh, what do you or top cook? Rum. What do you make that you're taking a picture of? Like? Oh, like I do this Jamaican brown stew chicken. I have to say it like that. I can't help it. Um, it, it it's just, if it looks... Good. I take a picture of it like an asshole. I, I, I don't. No, but he's right. Like, what's the com? What's the, what's the end I, game? What's the one comment that you want when you, like post, you think when you, you post that? You go. I, don't, I want somebody to say. You know what? I, I guess I I don't really post it for that reason. I just post it because I like taking pictures. And do you think maybe you'll get a job as a chef somewhere? No. You know, like no. some no. high end restaurant. Go, no. look, got to look at this guy's Instagram. We got to hire him. No, no, <laughs> no. He makes it, Jamaican chicken. Nobody else makes that. I know. No, nobody makes brown stew chicken. So you basically follow directions well, because that's what it is. Well, you got a recipe and you follow directions. Well, I mean, the brown stew, it's kind of, it's not really a recipe for it. It's just kind of, you do it. I mean, there is a recipe, but not like, it's all, it's all by eye. Like the way it, have you ever got laid off of a, a picture of food? Like I some have girl not. Goes, That's so hot. I gotta I have come not. over. I, I don't get. I don't get laid off pictures of me. So, <laughs> I, uh, did you did, ever have sex with this too? Maybe, possibly. possibly. Did a girl ever go? That looks really good. I want you to cook me dinner. I'm gonna come over with sometime. Yeah. Did it happen? No, but yes. What you, so it didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. But oh my god, that looks awesome! I want to try that. Is, okay, but is that let's the, do it. Okay, so that's sure. the end game. So yeah. now that's what I'm well, getting no, at. That's not so really you that, you want a chick well, to write, Izzy? That looks delicious. How about if I come over and you cook this for me, and then I put my tongue yeah, in her ass? She's hot enough. Yeah. Oh, oh god. All right, we, we, yeah, we got, I, we're getting to some honesty here. Finally. <laughs> I guess that's I what you, that's what you want. <laughs> I don't know. Now, I, what if someone goes that looks like shit? Are you gonna be mad at that comment? Yeah. You, no, because I don't the, care. 
Yeah, but you're posting it because you want compliments. No, I don't post it because I want compliments. I just post it. Like you I... want Scotty to post, like, dude, that fucking looks amazing. Next time, bring that recipe over to my house and cook it for everyone. That's what you want. <laughs> so I'd have to walk out the room and interrupt him playing his video game on the wall. And go, dude, you want to try some of this? Pulled pork. Pulled pork. That's right. That's right. Hi, Harry. Who's here? Happening, happening. Happenin Harry's in the house, everybody. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Happening Harry. <laughs> and millions of people watching this home are going, who the fuck is Happening Harry? He's, he's the original. Oh, it's my turn. You're first. I'm second. I'm kidding. <laughs> Focus, motherfucker. Focus. <laughs> so your book's basically you bitching about people on Facebook? Yeah. All right, there you go. It's basically about you in a lot of ways. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. What other stuff do you post? Um, music videos. Okay, that's good. Yeah. 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 Um, random. I'm do you ta- take pictures of, of pets? No. Not anymore because I don't have a pet. Actually, yes. Do you yes, complain about the weather? No. No. Well, it doesn't. It does. It's pretty much the same out here. Yeah. Flight delays. No. No. All right. No. Good. All right. No. Easy. No. Yeah. All right. I, 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 I think the food. You're right. every once in a while. I'll take a selfie while I'm on the shitter. <laughs> Just ev- let everybody know I'm t- dropping a ten two hundred. You're a grown man using a word that sixteen year old girls use. What you shitter? Realize that. No selfie. You realize? Yeah, that. I know. <laughs> like sixteen year old girls. Use yeah, that word. I know. I know. I'm trying to stop. Really. Hey, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) But anyway, so that's what the book is about, basically. But it's not, you know, you just pick apart social media. Oh, there you go. And there's a look. The thing I do love about you two on social media is you don't get drawn into all this political bullshit. Because there's people I'm good friends with that they post all this political stuff, especially on Twitter. And I just fucking roll my eyes. I've actually pulled a muscle in my eye rolling it before. And it's annoying as fuck. And you guys stay away from that. Yeah, because, I mean, people, that's all they see all day. Right. So who cares? I mean, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, at this point, a Trump joke is like a Polish joke. Yeah. It's like if a comic does, if you go see a comic and he's doing airplane jokes, those are hacky in 87. So what like if, if they now were if from- you go up and do political jokes, it's the same thing. It's like, all right, already. He's crazy. What did he do? Fill in the blank. So there's well, the joke. Oh, right? the orange hair. Oh, well, that, remember the time he did that? He tweeted and, that. Oh, he looks like he's Cheeto. nuts, and he tweeted about a thing with a girl and a thing. Yeah. And then half the audience is, you know, kind of like tonight. They all left. <laughs> <laughs> but they said they were coming back. Drunk. Yeah. This is why you haven't gotten laid six months. When a girl says, we'll be right back, that means you'll never see them ever again. Trust me. I know. I know. You say airplane jokes, you mean like the movie? Because that's fucking hilarious. Well, the movie, yeah, the movie's great. But yeah, at this point, it's just like, look, you can make jokes about what's going on in the country, but it, it, it doesn't pay to take a side. Right. Because the comics who do that usually just scream at the audience about how dumb they are, whatever choice they made. And then on the other end, then on the other end, if you take a side, unless you're a political comic, people aren't interested. Right. They, well, plus well, that it, also me and Don usually go on later in the show, so you got uh, the other four comics before you talking about Trump. So then when you get up there, okay, right. here's my version of it. So you know yeah. they don't want to hear it anymore by the time we get on stage. Right. I guess I was kind of getting at the like the outrage. Like on Twitter and on Facebook, I just mute People everybody just, that does talks about. Yeah. It. I don't want to read. I don't give a shit. Yeah, you um, know, it's just easy. Yeah. And there's comics. You know, comics supposed to just be funny. You know, what right? I mean? Like, right. A, nobody wants to hear a, a real unless you put it in your act. But on Twitter and Facebook, who gives a shit? Right. And you know, there was a there was a point. What happened to the the, the, the list of twenty six celebrities who said they were going to move to Canada if Trump got elected? Mm-hmm. They're still here. Yep. All right, because that just proves no matter how fucked up this country is, it's still better than Canada. See, I would have chosen Canada. I would have chosen Australia because there's like hot. Ah. Yeah, because they can drink down there like motherfuckers and the women yeah. can drink you under the fucking You'd table. You probably only have to wait three months to get laid there. Right. Well, I don't know. A lot of them look like El McPherson. I'll give, I'll give six weeks. Six, six weeks? weeks? That's all? Yeah, because the Australian Fuck. women like the American men. Yeah, especially us ones with dad bodies and fucking beer guts. Hot. Oh, no, there's balls. another. There's another term in Florentine's book. Dead bodies. Yeah. Yeah. They get laid in a day. 
Because you're not a dad. No, I'm not. So it doesn't make sense. Yeah, that, that's a good point. No. You just say, I got to lose like 15 pounds. Yeah, tighten I do. Tighten up a little. I do. I'm working on it. No, but I'm just saying that'd be yeah. easier. <laughs> It's not that. It I only, can't believe you're not three, a dad. It only took yeah, three. Right? Yeah, I know. It only took three more seconds. Yeah, you actually to get that. <laughs> what you actually get have to have sex to be a dad. But you also don't use a condom, which is the theme of this whole show. So, <laughs> right? Either you're the master I, pullout method. I am the master ninja, pullout method guy. Or you're fucking shooting blanks. You ever think of that? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, like that. Right. That's the shooting blanks. Yeah, we effect. see, but. I hope I'm not shooting, but could you, could you imagine? I, another, I hope could, you are. <laughs> I was going to say, could you imagine another I've known you me? long enough. I, I pray you're shooting blanks. <laughs> so what happens if you get a girl pregnant at this point in your life? Uh, the, kid will come out, the kid will come out. It'll be Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Sheen will pop out of the woman's vagina if he has a kid. It has to reach the cervix, though. Yeah. His kid will come out with two prostitutes on either side of him. And an eight ball. But what do you do? Like, if you knock a girl up, then what do you do? You're going to have the baby? You're going to marry the girl? If she's hot. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) But what are the... Well, do you fuck hot girls? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, that that's part chance. of the reason for the the long stretch because I'm very picky. Well, sometimes you got to go back to the minors. Yeah, yeah I know. Work yeah. on your fundamentals. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> this yeah. is true. You know, go then to triple, have to go to triple A. Then I would have to wrap it. Why? <laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> Why would you have to wrap it? Because you don't want to knock up the chick that you don't want to fuck. No, but if you if you're like if you're in the major leagues, right? Then you, uh, that would be the ones you'd want to knock up. Right, exactly. That's what right. I'm talking about. But, it, yeah, when you're down in the minors, you don't want to, yeah. Right, you, you, you got to be careful. Yeah, if you're a pitcher in the minor leagues, you, know, you never want to throw 97 every day. Right. You want to save like, your arm for the majors. Right, unless you're like you Scotty. Wanna save, you want to save your mule for the majors. Right, unless you're like Scotty, who's a catcher in the majors. But he's a power bottom. Everyone yeah. knows that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're here. You're here. I uh, got another question from the uh, Facebook page. Um, any upcoming shows, concerts that you're looking forward to? Um, well, you, oh, well, you I'm go- going to see Guns N' Roses at the Garden. Oh, nice. MSG in a couple of weeks. Nice. So that'll be good. Uh, I saw Scorpions and Megadeth. Yep. We a couple weeks show. show. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Really great. And, um, yeah, I, I think that's it. I don't know. Yeah, there's some shows coming. I, well, I just saw Saxon and UFO twice. Which is amazing. Trunk made you go. Well, no, it's funny because we well we went together to the Jersey show, and um, you know I'm more of the Saxon fan, he's more of the UFO fan, so it worked out. You know, um, I know Tom Kiefer's coming into New York. Oh, nice. Um, definitely gonna go see him. And but the whole summer we've been going to shows all summer. We went to see uh, Stone Sour and Kern. Yeah. What? Who? Stone Sour and who? Kern. How do you Kern? say it out who? here? Kern. Kern. Kern? <laughs> The yeah, they've been current. touring all summer. What? Did I say it wrong? Current? No? Is he? Is it pronounced? I, I, I never have, heard of Kern. I, I have no the fucking idea what you're talking about. So that tour. <laughs> I saw that band, uh, Greta Van Fleet, in New York yeah, City. Yeah, what'd you think about that? I there's, love them. There's, it's, it's so funny. It's like... There, no Kern. There, people either <laughs> love them or they hate them. They're like, oh my God, they just sound, they're just ripping off fucking Led Zeppelin. And there's people like, these guys are fucking awesome. They were great. I, I never heard them. Oh, they're amazing. They're fucking, they're like 18, 19 years old, and they just fucking, they throw it out. I mean, they yeah, they have a Zeppelin-esque sound, but they're amazing. Yeah. It's something, it's something different? Is that what somebody said? If they sound like, exactly I don't know, like she Zeppelin, was, I don't It sounded like she was coming from inside of Harry. Yeah. Yeah, I think Harry's pulling some ventriloquist shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greta Van, Greta Van Fleet. Check those guys out. They're uh, they're very good. We saw Alice Cooper in uh, Deep Purple. Oh, nice. Yeah. His, and his kid tailgates with us, man. He's a pro. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He, we only give him a light beer, though, because he's sick. Right, right, So you right, don't want right. to give him a heavy beer. but Right. Well, I mean. Um, he knows, how to, he knows you know, how to pee in the woods. Yeah, you're raising him like a good Wisconsinite, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he knows he knows all the right things to do. Yeah, yeah. Christian, uh, go ahead, please. Yeah, we were talking about happy ending and all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What about Deep Purple with Richie 
Now he's rocking again. Well, I mean, uh, I mean yeah, he's dream. he's trying to. Do, it's your dream to what? <laughs> To get a happy ending from Richie Blackmore? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love Sid Moore, you know, but you're show Blackmore, like Blackmore and Deep Purple again. You yeah. one last time, but it sounds like it'll never happen. It's not gonna happen. But what do you think? He's well, he's been like in the he's been like in the woods with the with the nymphs for the last twenty five years. So yeah. I, he's back at Rainbow. Now. Yeah, he's out. He's back doing Rainbow. Yeah, what, yeah but what's that's that? like, you want to go to the Rainbow? That's like you and Scotty going on the road and saying this is Rainbow. <laughs> He's True. Rainbow, but he's back in rock and roll That's again. Not Rainbow. Right. He, he's rocking again. You know? Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I think at this point, Deep Purple's like, no, we don't. He doesn't want to do it. He's just saying that he's throwing out there. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't mind doing a show with him, but he's 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 full of shit. Right. I think. You know, this he's they, seventy. He's got a he's got a young hot wife. You know, he doesn't really. You know, he doesn't need the money. So. I, I needed the money. I don't think a D, D Purple it, will do it at this point <laughs> I either. I can't help it. You know, I don't think D Purple would do it at this point. Right. right. I mean, Steve Morris has been no point. longer than... Ten years ago, maybe. Right. Yeah. yeah. Steve Morris is amazing. Yeah. I saw that with Steve Morris, but I still want to see him. Well, listen. Right. Listen. Guns N' Roses. What's the name of the Guns N' Roses tour right now? Not in this lifetime. Right. So you never know, right? So. Well, it's not like he's up there wearing Richie Blackmore's makeup. Right. What does that mean? That was a kiss joke. Oh, well, okay, right. Ah. I was thinking Guns N' Roses. I'm like, who wears makeup in Guns N' Roses? All right, I got it. Yeah. Or Richie Blackmore. Or Richie Blackmore. I don't know. Maybe he throws on some... Maybe at some know. point, maybe they do like, you know, a couple shows in Vegas or, mm -hmm. you know, in a year or two or something, you know, cash in with Richie, possibly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, got that, he's got that weird mustache, though. But what did they really? do? Really? Yeah, but he, if, looks, if, he looks like the coach of the Giants. If Richie does it, what do they do? What do they do with Mike Morse on guitar? You know what I mean? Done. What? Like, what do they do with Mike Morse on guitar if Richie comes in and plays? Right. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to probably oh, Steve, Morris. Steve Morris. Open for, Steve. Open for Lisa Lampin. <laughs> Mike, Mor Mike, Mike Morris was the long snapper for the Vikings. In no, the Mike Morris. Mike Morris was also on the San Francisco Giants. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Player. You're a Giants fan. I and forget. then also he, uh, it's a comedian friend of ours. Oh, very yeah. well. Who actually plays guitar, but there's probably more of a chance of our friend Mike Morse <laughs> yeah. playing in Deep Purple than Richie again. I mean, I, mean, I, I saw uh, like Deep Purple five times and Rainbow one time in 93, but still I want to see Richie with Deep Purple, you know? Gene Simmons made a good point. He's like, why would you want to get back with an ex from 25 years ago? Well, yeah, right. You know what I mean? That like, you hated then. Yeah, now you're going to be all friendly just because your friends want you guys. You guys were good together. Come on. You like know. what we were saying about that metal show. Like if a regular job, you can't just walk in and go, no, everyone in the office said I was good, so I'll be back Monday, even though you just fired me. I mean, uh, from, uh, from my point of view, I want Ozzy Osbourne with Jake Lee again now. Yeah. Well, as a well fan, hey, at least yeah, he's back course. with Zach. Yeah, that's true. All right, we just lost yeah. uh, another hot girl. He's my thing. I want Brad Gillis back. No, that was a, a, Brad was Gillis. a really good-looking guy. I want wow. Bernie yeah. Torme back. Brad Gillis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brad Gillis or Jake Lee. No. Right, all right. Uh, another question. Any insight on the show Eddie is filming, and is there any tie into TMS or you both? That's my question. Oh, that's your question. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a question from Jen. Why didn't you just come up and ask that question? Miss Jen. Okay, please come please come closer yeah, to please the table. Yeah, please come uh, closer cuz Come closer to the table cuz I'm nice getting a boner. And, yeah. I saw one of her boobies once. Um please I'm kidding. Wow. No, I'm not. Um how, how much? So Eddie keeps talking about yes. the show that he's filming. So he filmed three episodes and he's not saying what the show is. Right. Does it have something to do with that metal show? So we're wondering. I don't know what the show is, but I'm not involved in it, so I guess it's pro it doesn't. Okay. But I don't know. He hasn't told me about a show. Well, maybe you know, maybe he pulled a kiss and he has two guys that wear Jim and Don makeup. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, masks. And yeah. fake sideburns. Yeah, fake sideburns and. I mean, if it has some small cocks. Show, they can't. Hey, no. You know, you can't say anything about it. But. No, definitely not. I know that. I just, I never, I haven't asked him about the show. He's been so busy, you know, we'll text here and there, but, and if he's, I know he's saying it's secret. I've seen him uh, tweet about it. So I'm like, I'm not going to, because I don't want to be the one 
if it gets out there before he's not supposed to announce it, I, I just when they, when a band sends me a new album, I don't I want it the day it comes out, right? Because I'm afraid it's going to get leaked and it's going to come from, through me. I'm going to hit the wrong button and the album's going to be. So I never do it. I'm like, no, just send it that day. So he's filming something, but we don't know. Maybe he's not even filming anything. But maybe, yeah, maybe they maybe, maybe they replaced me and Jim with holograms. I saw I saw him walking in the U porn headquarters the other day, so yeah. maybe it might be something there. Yeah, that's the that's the only way you can do that metal show now is the three holograms. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing what? Oh, inspirational he posts. Inspirational. <laughs> Who? Oh. Eddie. Is, is he? he? Yeah, he's doing rants was, on awful T-shirts say. and yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, since we're on awful T-shirts, let's talk about John Palumbo Design. I John love John Palumbo. Palumbo. John, I love John Palumbo as well. He's great a great guy. man. Great guy. Check out johnpalumbodesign.com. You need a website designed. You need any artwork done. Big fan of his. Big fan of him. He's a big fan of you. Well, who isn't? That's actually... I mean, that's why there's... He's there's upward, That's why there's upwards of four people but, you know, in here. Um, and he doesn't like Trunk unless Trunk brings White Castle. Wow. Well. That's that's usually not a stretch. No, this is absolutely true. So check out johnpalumbodesign dot com, and also check out all the social media, which is facebook dot com slash another effing podcast, and of course my personal page, which is Izzy Presley One. Find out everything I am doing entertainment wise. If I'm actually able to go out and do stand up ever again, uh, you'll find about it there. And Soundcheck Live, which is the last Wednesday of every month, and Lucky Strike Live at Hollywood and Highland, which I am the beautiful face on stage introducing everybody. And on the the next show, I actually get to perform. Yay! And on on Twitter, he's at Happening Harry. Yes, I'm at Happening Harry on Twitter. Yes, yes. That's right. Um, you guys got shit coming up you want to uh, pimp before we uh, make like a tree and get out of here? What? Huh? What? What? Hmm? <laughs> when you, can people pre-order that book? Yeah, <laughs> on Amazon. How do they do that? They just go there. <laughs> And then what? It's just Not when they get to the page, it's the yeah, book's it just, there. It's there. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> and then what do you like do? It's like when you, you, you know, you, you, you hook up it? someone with tickets. Right. You know, you they put just them on go the guest to the desk. Like, and I'm here. Boom, what, right? what should I do? I'm like, I don't know. What would you do if you didn't know me? <laughs> when you go see Metallica, you got tickets to the band. You text Jim, James Hetfield. I'm in the parking lot. What should I, I would. Do? What should I do? It's a half hour hey, before the show. I just walked in. Okay. What do you want me to do? <laughs> just go on mm-hmm. Amazon. Yeah, it's on Amazon. Yeah, there's a link. Ah, there you go. There you go. Who met in the parking lot? Christian. Christian. Who did he yes. meet? James Hetfield? No, no, I text him. Oh, you text him? Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a big yeah. difference I'm between Izzy lot. and James Hetfield. <laughs> right? Just a couple dollars. Hetfield, Hetfield uses a bag. <laughs> Loser. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's on Amazon. You all can right. pre-order. So, yeah, it's on, so, go to my website, and all right. the, the link and is there. And you'll have all your dates up there as well. Yeah, yeah, all those. Okay. As JimFlorentine.com. Yeah, uh huh. DonJameson.com. Don Jameson, and it's yeah. at Mr. Jim Florentine on Twitter. Yes. And real Don Jameson on Twitter as well. So real. Yeah. Where uh, next couple weeks? Where are you guys gonna be? We're um, in the new I, version of Circus of Power. I gotta. <laughs> I'm going to be at the Whole Scotty. Foods by my house because <laughs> yeah. I'm, be I'm out pretty they, low on a lot they of make shit. A good, they make good juices over there. And i got to get an oil change yeah. like next Tuesday, so that's where I'll I'm be. I'm getting my hair cut Thursday. <laughs> you are? Right. Maybe Friday. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, i got a dentist appointment next Friday in Jersey. So oh, really? Filming. Yeah. You all right? And if you go to my Instagram, I'm going to be cooking a meal tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. So. Make, ja- make Jamaican stew. Yeah, I'm going to do Jamaican. Brown stew chicken, man. Brown, brown chicken stew. stew. Yeah, apparently chicks want to blow you if you post yeah. that. Uh, if you've ever tasted it, you'd probably want to blow me too. It's that good. Wow. Well, he's a veterinarian, Don. <laughs> so. Yeah. No, he is. I couldn't eat that, yeah. yeah really? He's a veterinarian, yeah. yeah. I'm, yeah. Really? I, I did not know that. Yeah, 26 years I've been a um, vegetable tarian. Wow. Yeah. And you're still able to grow those sideburns. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. It's impressive. No. Or do you what just do you shave? <laughs> or do you shave your bush and put it up there? Um, 
Oh, uh, you know. A little blue. Some duct tape. I'm, I'm a fairly hairy Strap guy. Strap it right on. You were never a veterinarian? No. 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 Look at him. I tried it for like a, a week, but. No. Then you realize bacon is delicious. Protein. Protein. No. Red meat. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen if, Ge- if Geezer Butler from Black Sabbath could be a, a vegan for 40 years, that's heavy enough for me. Yeah, he's taking B12. Wow. Hey, uh, Willem, why don't you uh, click on that outro music, or please? And, right. uh, Will, where uh, you... Yeah, pr- plug your stuff. Plug yourself. Um, well, as always, uh, for those of you uh, out here on the West Coast, I'll be at the Rainbow Bar Grill most nights of the week, doing my show on KNC.com. And this coming Friday, I'll be at Penn's in Studio City for the Bowling for Dio benefit, which I think uh, Eddie and company. So that'll be the Celebrity Bowling Tournament, again, at Penn's in Studio City. So looking forward to that. Very so well. And uh, you're at Metal DJ Will. Hashtag Metal DJ Will, all the, all the social media, all the good stuff. So hit me up and, uh, you know, where October is. There you go. And also, ladies and gentlemen, I have three of these things in stock right here. These are the roadie packs. You get a flask. You get a Zippo. The flask falls over. You get an LED light and a fucking dog tag for only 29 and 30 bucks. How about 20 Sold. No, because I'm losing money on that. Do you Thirty. Throw, do you throw, Thirty. Do you throw a condom in there too? In that pack? <laughs> no, I, I, no, no, I have none of them. <laughs> I have none of them. What if What if you hook up with a girl? She goes, "I want you to wear a condom." Like you're in the moment, you're back at her place, and she says that. Then what happens? Well, I make her blow me. You That's know, on principle. Idea. That's nice of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, because I'm kind like that. Well, what if she says, I care. "No, I want to have sex. I'm not just going to do that." Well, then I guess we're not having sex. That's it, man. Game or she's going to go buy some rubbers. Game over. I mean, I'd wear one if she had that's, them. That's, not, how, look, he, that's how not, long he hasn't used protection that he called them rubbers. Right. I know. <laughs> no one's used that term since 1972. <laughs> I know. What, do you drive a paneled station wagon around, too? Dude, I've seen a lot of paneled station wagons around lately, actually. Yeah, because it's probably hip. It's, yeah, it's coming back. Yeah, and they're all drinking $14 fucking craft beers yeah. and have ironic beards. and Right. Well, you know how it starts. And listen to cassettes. Yeah. You know how it starts. It's PBR. That's like the gateway drug to hipsterdom. Well, that was when I was, you know, starting out in comedy. I was fucking broke. Right. And they used to sell PBRs at a uh, happy hour by me in New York for a dollar. Yeah. And then, like, three years later, when Williamsburg in Brooklyn became the hipster capital of the universe, like, the next time I went down there, they were eight bucks. I'm yeah. like, they were a dollar last week. Exactly. It's like now, it's like they you're... They ruin everything. It's like you're sipping on a PBR, then all of a sudden you start twirling your fucking mustache like you're Don, uh, Doc fucking Holiday. Then you pop an IPA and boom, it's like Chewbacca with a fucking... Yeah, take off that metal show, but then the, the yeah. ice channel's on. Yeah. So. yeah, you look like Chewbacca with Everyone's a... hip. With a Everyone's man hip. bun and skinny jeans. Man, that's another... I'm sure man bun's in your book. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt As well it that. should be. So check those guys Which out. Which on Amazon. You just go to Amazon. Yeah, just go to, click. <laughs> just go to Amazon. You'll find Jim. Yeah. You don't even have to click. Just go there and you automatically will buy the book. There you go. Once uh, again, Jim Florentine, Don Jameson. Here are the Izzy Presley, another effing podcast. Thank you. Please right. hit my outro music if you have that. Who is this? Give you one second so you can figure it out. It's all about the pussy, He knows. No. No, this is too technical for them. Uh, is this the halftone? No, this is the live outro from uh, Black Diamond on Kiss Animalized Live Uncensored. Very well. Don Jameson, Jim Florentine, thank you guys hey. so much. My name is Izzy Presley. Make sure you please support all my sponsors. Support the show. Facebook.com slash another podcast and Izzy Presley one as well. At Real Izzy Presley on the Twitter machine on my quest for one million followers. So go follow and on Instagram as well. We'll see you here at the other door. Thank you, the other door in North Hollywood. Thank you guys for coming down. Appreciate it. All the way from Australia, just for this. We'll see you tomorrow night live in studio. I am Thomas Nicholas from the American Pie Movies in studio tomorrow night. 
Spreaker.com slash user slash Izzy Presley. We'll see you then, ladies and gentlemen. I do, in fact, love you all and kindly go fuck yourselves.